Hi everyone, thank you for your interest in the SFC, the secondary phase control tool that I developed. And uh, I want to show you <coughs> how it works, how you can install it, and why you need this tool. First of all, uh, we take a look at the installation that it's really simple and uh, easy to do. After that, you have uh, unzipped the archive, you just drag and drop the install mail into Maya viewport. <coughs> The new button shelf it appear and uh, you can launch the, the tool. Here I have a basic rig uh, with skin and mesh and uh, some basic blend shape. Uh, you can download uh, this file from uh, my website or directly from the archive of the tool, it's, in it's included. But if you want only to check uh, the hierarchy, and uh, what kind of uh, group convention uh, it uses, you can just uh, download the, the file from my website. And mainly, an hybrid rig is a rig that have a, a bind skin and a blend shape. In this kind of rig, we have we need a secondary control to um, be sure that animator have full control of expression of the character. So here, uh, for example, if I just activate a blind shape happy, okay, you can see that my control are not moving. So if after that I tweak and start to move some control, I don't see uh, where uh, where is the part that uh, effective is uh, influenced by these this control in this case for the corner of the mouth so what I need is uh, is a tool that automate all this process to make all the connection of uh, this secondary control just try to move that around the inner eyebrow control, and I have all this. I need to turn almost all of this controller to the head, and just so you can see in the hierarchy that I have a geometry group, uh, animation cube group, a skeleton group, and inside the um, animation cube group, I have a secondary controls group. If I open it up, I have all these uh, all these hierarchy. For each controller, I have an offset node of the controller, the animation cube control, and the joint score L at influence. I can just try to move that around, the inner eyebrow control, and I have all this stuff. So I need to uh, parent almost all of this controller to the head. And just this three controller, uh, the down, <coughs> mouth down controller, to the jaw. In, in this way, I can move the jaw and the uh, mouth open up. And uh, if I move that, all, all the rest just following the, the right yerk. So, what I need to do is just follow four steps. So I select my uh, cube, any of the secondary control. Mm, I use this naming convention AC underscore A brow underscore in underscore L. But you can use uh, also subfix, not prefix. The important thing is that the joint of the same name of the control. You can see here in the hierarchy I have ACA brown in L. I, and here uh, my joint is naming A brown in L. That's the important thing. And, and also uh, the offset node that must to have the, the same name of the controller. So after this little naming convention introduction, all the rest, uh, I think, 
clear enough. So I select my any of uh, the cube control of, of my secondary uh, just to get the prefix or suffix of the controller. So in this case, I have prefix. If I need the suffix, I just unselect this flag. Okay, so add selection and the two get the prefix. After that, I need to set the joint to parent width. So in this case is my head. So I select my joint of the head and the tool get uh, this joint. After all, I need to select the skin and mesh that have also the, the blend shift. So I select the mesh as selection. What I need now is to select all the secondary control that I must to uh, parent with the head joint. So I select all the joint uh, uh, minus these three uh, mouth down control. So I just select that. Okay, we go. Launch the create. <clears throat> As you can see, something happened. I have a bunch of all new group and connection that going on. For each controller, I have two uh, two object with some hierarchy, some controller, some constraint that, and some connection, and that make it works. The last thing that I must to do is just to uh, do the same thing for the this tree control and parent with the jaw joint. So a selection, so now I don't have the head, but I have the jaw joint. And now I select my three secondary um, secondary joint for my uh, control, secondary control, and just create that. Now what happens is that if I just activate the blank shape, the control just follow the geometry. Oh, you can see. In this way I can make much more control and uh, easier way to get at the animator, uh, nice behavior. Hope that you like it, and if you have any comment, just drop me a line. I'm happy to answer any questions.